What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports and we're here at the Voice of College Football on the Ohio State channel. We're going to preview the 2023 schedule for the Buckeyes before we get to 2023. Let's look back at 2022. Here was the schedule from 2022, an 11-2 record, an 11-1 record in the regular season. Uh, you look at this schedule, of course, playing Notre Dame in the non-conference. That was a really big deal, uh, having a, a big game like that in the non-conference. Then you look at the opponents in the West. They had to play Iowa, but they got them at home. They played Northwestern on the road. Northwestern was you know, probably the worst team in that division. And then also played Wisconsin. Remember at the time, we thought that was a huge game, but Wisconsin turned out to be uh, pretty bad. So, I mean, the, the Big Ten West was horrible, honestly, from top to bottom. You know, Illinois, Purdue, those were decent teams, but it didn't really matter who you played out of the West. Uh, it was going to be a pretty easy schedule for the top teams out of the East. Uh, but let's look now ahead to 2023. These are the teams that Ohio State will play outside of the division. Yes, there will still be divisions one more year in the Big Ten. They'll play Youngstown State, Western Kentucky, and on the road at Notre Dame. So they'll play Notre Dame again, this time on the road, and that is going to be a huge, huge game. You look at who they play out of the West, they'll play Purdue on the road. Also, Wisconsin on the road this year. That could be a tricky game. Uh, we'll see if Luke Fickle can turn the Badgers around in year one, uh, but I, I definitely would look at that as, as a tough game. And then Minnesota, they'll play them at home. Uh, so that's who they get out of the West. Again, the West is, is kind of tough to predict right now. Um, you know, Wisconsin, Iowa, maybe Illinois, maybe Nebraska, maybe those are the top teams. But you, you never want to go on the road to Wisconsin or Iowa. Those places are just so tough to play. But let's go week by week now. They will start off with a conference game. They will play Indiana to kick off the season on the road. That's going to be an interesting game there. New quarterback for Ohio State, so they'll they'll have whoever it winds up being, uh, most likely Kyle McCord, but they'll have to go on the road in their very first start. Remember C.J. Stroud did that a couple of years ago against Minnesota. Kind of a, a similar situation here. I don't think Indiana's going to be quite as good as Minnesota was that year, but that's where they'll start, and then they'll play Youngstown State in Western Kentucky, and they'll play Notre Dame on September 23rd. That game, again, will be on the road, but... It's not week one like it was last year. So especially when you're going to have a new quarterback, uh, it's nice to have some easier games there to, to build some, some rhythm, some confidence before you go into a huge game. Again, on the road at Notre Dame. Potentially a playoff eliminator type game for these two teams because if Ohio State loses somewhere else and Notre Dame loses somewhere else, this could be potentially a second loss. So that is just a huge game when you look at the playoff picture. They get a bye week after Notre Dame. So they'll play those first four games and then get the bye week before playing the rest of the schedule. So Maryland will kick off the month of October. They'll play them on the 7th. That will be a home game. Remember the scare they got last year? Game wound up being pretty close. This time they'll play earlier in the year. It seems like Ohio State Maryland have always played, or at least recently, they played very late in the season. But they'll play early in the season this year. They'll play Purdue after that on the road. New coaching staff there at Purdue. So, I, you know, definitely a lot of question marks for them. You feel pretty confident for Ohio State going on the road and winning that game. Penn State after that, going to be a huge, huge game there on October 21st. Uh, circle that one. That could be a game that potentially decides the Big Ten East. Potentially uh, also could have, you know, playoff implications. Just a, a huge game. Both teams expected to be top 10 for sure. Maybe even top five teams this year. Then there's Wisconsin after that. So that's the one that I'm really I'm concerned about if I'm an Ohio State fan because even if you get by Penn State, the very next week you've got to go on the road to face Wisconsin. Maybe they're not great this year. Maybe they don't turn things around, but there is that potential. And again, a tough place to play. That is definitely an upset alert game right there. And then they'll go on the road again to play Rutgers. So back-to-back -back road games there as they get into the month of November. They'll play Michigan State on November the 11th. That'll be a home game. And then Minnesota after that on November 18th. So you get a couple of home games there in a row before the big one at the end of the season on the road at Michigan. Of course, Ohio State having lost the last two years. Can they go on the road and beat Michigan this year? 
uh, it'll be tough. But, yeah, when I look at this schedule, there are four games that I think are going to be really, really big, and those four games are going to decide the season for the Buckeyes. It's Notre Dame on September 23rd on the road. It's Penn State on October 21st, and then Wisconsin on the road on uh, October 28th. So they'll play those two games again back-to-back. That is That is a huge back-to-back right there. And then, of course, the game at the end of the season against Michigan on November 25th. But all in all, yeah, this is a pretty tough schedule in 2023 for Ohio State. 